when my son was in high school, this was his mousetrap car, it went furthest and fastest of all the cars in his class. It's got a carbon fiber rod. I don't know how long it is. Let me measure. Fans falling over. Stupid fan. <laughs> Looks like it's almost 18 inches. Then I have a, or he put in a, it's hollow, so it goes on the end of the um, mousetrap. You know, you just cut, cut off the um, mousetrap um, arm. So that, you know, you just slide it on, glue it on, on one side. On the other side, you use the extra piece to make a um, loop so that you can thread in the string. The string runs all the way down to the axle. Now the axle is carbon fiber. And it's got um, um, carbon fiber dust. They're the carbon fiber um, dust you put on to make it uh, slide better in both sides of the axle and they're, they're drilled through the um, sticks. So all, all it's made out of is um, hobby pieces. It's like a, I think that's an eighth inch piece of hobby wood for the, the board and then dowels. But they're square dowels, they're not round dowels. Each one's about, that's about a half inch. And then this is smaller, a little less than a half inch. And then uh, wheels, I don't know what you'd call them, but they're plastic centers with sponge on the outside. I can't get it to stay up. Wheels are about two and a half inches the front and he cut a he cut a circle for the back that's about five and a half inches for the back wheel. If we would have had a drill press we could have drilled the hole in the center perfectly straight because the, the wheel wobbles but even with the wheel wobble now you can't just rely on the wood for traction and so I went down to the hardware store and bought him a piece of uh, silicon um, tube and I cut it and then uh, glued it on with Gorilla Glue. Um, that's the only thing Gorilla Glued on here. Everything else is uh, used wood glue with um, nails. And the thing hauls ass, and well, for a mouse trap car, it hauls ass, and it also went the furthest. And the way you make them go the furthest is you don't attach the string on permanently. You put a loop in the end of the string, and then I put a tie wrap on the axle. There. There's a tie wrap on the axle and the string actually goes on the tie wrap and then you, you wind it up as tight as it'll go and then whenever it pulls and moves um, whenever it ends the loop falls off the tie wrap and it allows the uh, mousetrap car to keep going so you get the distance record and the speed record I would imagine if the wheel was larger as it could be. Um, you might even get more speed out of it. I don't know. But at the fastest and the furthest mousetrap car, Edison High School, um, 
Huntington Beach, California. They wouldn't give him both awards. They gave him, uh, I'm not sure which one they gave him, but he, c he couldn't get both. They wanted someone else to get, so they, they picked the second furthest car and they gave um, that, that prize to him. I wouldn't use the kit and I wouldn't use the, um, a, a, a CD or a DVD um, for wheels. A lot of people did, and it's just, it's, um, I don't know, it's, it's, it's not very precise. It's not, it, 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 they don't make good wheels. You know, I don't know where we got these or how much they were, but I'm sure that they were cheap. And everything else was free because I had everything else for him. Except for the um, tube for the traction. For the rubber and the um, graphite powder, and I, I might, it may have had, I've already had both those. I know I didn't have the tube, but I don't have tube just laying around. I have, I have a lot of stuff, but I had all the wood already. And then the graphite rods are, um, I have uh, power kites, stunt kites that take um, graphite.